This is a review of five products from Karan Dash. I've been using them for the past two months, I want to say, and just thought I'd give my overview of how they perform and what they've done to the art that I've been working on. So the first thing we'll go through, we'll go through cost of each one. It's going to vary depending on where you are, but I'm based in the UK. Uh, the Fabralo 30 set. These are the pens. I will go through these in more detail, but just give you the cost breakdown first. So this cost me 43.31 on Amazon UK. That's including shipping with Prime, so shipping will be separate. That was the 30 set. This is the Fibralo Brush 15 set. These I got from cultpens.com. Uh, they were $24.99. With the shipping, it was $30.49. The Pencil Blender and Full Blender. So you get two of them in a set. This I got from Colt Pens as well. It was 4 50 on the Black Friday discount with 20%. It was £3.60. And now this is the 80 set. These are the watercolour pencils, the super 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 colour. So you get the first set on top and then the second set underneath, which I will go through in detail when I get to it. They were £165 from coltpens.com on the Black Friday sale. That went to £132. Um, if you go over a certain limit with cold pens, you get free shipping. So that was for that. And finally, the water brush pack of three. You get three different watercolour brushes. Sorry, water brushes, not colour. You get large, medium and fibre tipped. They come like this in this plastic packaging so yeah so that's the costing of the five products in terms of in terms of quality and what you get so they all come in this metal tin the three main sets i'm talking about the brush set the uh, other pen set and the watercolor pencil set so they all come in this box they come wrapped in this you can actually cut this off and it gives you um, a color chart that you can color you color in yourself, put it in, and it's uh, it's very handy. I just cut it out and keep it inside. It also comes with this with some stickers. I've obviously used some of the stickers. This one is for the pencil, I believe, and these two are for the pens. I've put them in where I feel makes sense, makes it look a little bit nicer. So that's what you get with that. The other tins are pretty much are pretty much the same. The only difference is the stickers you get in the uh, pencil watercolors uh, a little bit different. So yeah. So in this one, same thing. You get your color chart. Again, you get the same different stickers. And you get a little pamphlet with details on it, and this is how it's wrapped. But yeah, tin case, um, all like this. And yeah. Okay, moving on to the super color comes in this. This is a a double tin set, so you get 
two stickers in here. First one, get that sticker there, little nice pencil coloured one and a brush coloured sticker as well. This one is from the other set that I just put on because it's the same. It matches up with it. You get the pamphlet and you also get the full colour chart as before. The difference is it actually tells you uh, the UV rating um, of 150 hours so you've got excellent very good and good and it lists each color of how good it is on a on a uv rating scale you get this which just protects the pencils lift the case off and underneath you've got the rest of the pencils again with a bit of protecting protection there as well So yeah, that's a that's an overview of the prices and the quality and what they are. In terms of usage now, now we're just going to go through and uh, have a look at each of them and see how well they are and the difference they are to other pens that I've used in the past and how well they uh, how well they stack up. So I think the main difference you have with these compared to other pens are well, the first thing, all three sets, uh, they're non-animal based, so there's no animal ingredients or anything like that within them um, and no animal products or materials used on them, which is always a good thing. Um, in terms of the colour itself, it's um, with the Fibrado brush, they're extremely vibrant. As you can see, I will do a, I will do a, um, a comparison to other pens that I use that were cheaper pens and how much I just do not stand out. In terms of paper, I'm doing this on uh, Windsor and Newton paper at 300 uh, GSM. The reason being is that you can use this paper for watercolour, um, paints, um, it's very thick and nothing bleeds through, so you can use pretty much any type of um, art equipment and it comes out really well. But yeah, in terms of the colour and how they look, they're extremely vibrant. Um, even when you mix them with water, because they are water, they, you can use water on them. They do blend very, very well. Even with the black, which is a, something that um, you get that's not usually so vibrant. It's, a, it, it's, it's very good in terms of quality. Um, I will show you how they act with water as well, but I mean, I've done this, but I will do the water later on, and you'll see, even after a while, there'll be no issue um, with using water after a while, which is really good. So now we move on to these pens. The main difference you have between the brush and the non-brush is really the um, uh, is really the tips and how you do the strokes on them. So this is the Fibrala brush, you can see when you go along, you can actually do thicker, thinner, and that's really the effect you get on that. However, with the Fibrala set, things are a little bit different. So you've got a bit more of a range of colours, but the tips look like this. So if we compare, so that's the black from there. There is a difference in regards to the stroke and how you, how the pen moves along the paper. So that is the main thing.
but still even with lighter colors even with colors like this um this is this is there's a desert rose it's still coming up extremely vibrant and it's very very clear to see there's no leakage it doesn't look very run out um And even if you're using it on paper that's not this thickness, which I will show you because that was the first one I did, the colour still comes out very, very good. The quality doesn't change. I mean, the only thing that does happen is you do get runoff on the back of the paper because the way these pens, um, the thing I've realised is the way these pens, um, the colour that they give, and because it's just so efficient in just using them they tend to just go through but however with this paper nothing goes through and it doesn't matter what color you use every everything was very bright pops off the page and they can be blended together as well when you when you take water into the mix which i will go through um, in a bit. So that's what you get with the pens. And now we're just going to move on to the pencils. So the pencils are very, they're, they're very different. Um, I actually prefer the pencils the most now. It was the, it was the last one I got out of all of them. Um, and I'll show you on a piece that I did, uh, which is why I like them the most. The biggest thing with the pencils, I mean, that's the, that's how they look. They each tell you what's going on here. They tell you the colour. This is the same as the other as the pens as well, but they'll tell you the colour. So noir, noir black, and they'll have a code on each of them, 009, and they with well, the pencils they include the UV rating as well. This is three stars. Um, so it doesn't matter which pencil you pick up. This is, this is um, Umber, 049 code, so you can match it up with the, with the chart and two star UV rating. So, in terms of how they colour, when you go lighter, you obviously get this effect. You go darker, you can actually, you can see the, how much they, um, they blend in into whatever you're doing. So if you want to go a bit lighter on something and then it starts to get a bit darker if the shadow's coming into effect, press a little bit harder and then you press really hard and you can get that effect with just, just with one pencil, which which I really like about it. It's a, it's a lot more difficult with the, um, uh, with the pens. And the other factor is these blend so easily. So you can put two colors together, three colors, however many you want. Um, and you can get some amazing results. I mean, you can even do things like you'll have something that's metal. Um, I will show this later on. And if you use bits of green, purple, um, kind of that oil slick effect on metal, it comes out really, really well. So now, one thing that I will go into in regards to the pencil blender and the full blender, which is what you can use with these pencils as well. If you take two colours, or three or four, however many you want. So let's take that orange and we'll take this.
when you use this on the pencils, it effectively becomes like a coating for it as well. So water on top of it won't really do anything. But you can see the difference. So I have started a little bit already. That's how we're starting. Just there, but once I start to really blend it, you can see the difference of um, of how it appears on the page. That's the blended result. And it doesn't, and with the pencil, it doesn't matter what, you can go from that color to any color. So if I move on to the black now. So remember, this is lighter, we're going darker. Up here again, lighter to darker, so lighter. Blend that. from lighter to darker and you can see how it makes the difference and with a pencil you can use it on any other color after you can go to this color that color no difference and that's one way you can get different effects um, with this you can use the full blender as well I prefer using the pencil um, at the minute but the obviously the you've got the choice of which one you want to do um, and this is what we haven't even touched the water aspect yet which is a uh, which is a pretty amazing thing, I think, that you can do. So let's go into the water. Now what I'll do is let me just give you a few more colors so you can see how the pencils look as well on the paper. But the 80 set, um, I think it's got uh, enough variety for you to do pretty much most things. The 120 set is, is very expensive. Um, to me, the, the way I like to put, well, purchase things in general is I want to use them for years and years and years and years and I really look after them. So when someone says, oh, but that costs £150 for uh, 80 pencils, I'll just say, well, in five years, how many sets of pencils are you going to buy and go through that are going to look like pretty much complete garbage? and gonna have the same effect, which is not gonna be the case um, at all. Because then you start working out the, the, the cost benefit and you say, okay, each year you're gonna spend maybe, I don't know, let's say 30 to 40 pounds on pencils. And you start timesing that by two, three, four, and eventually the cost goes above what these would have cost anyways. So, that's the way I look at it, and I think that's the best way to look at these. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna use them badly and not look after them, you don't care. Then that's just if that's how you are, then that's how you are. But money's worth, I think, when you spend a bit of money on quality, and it's for something that you enjoy doing, or it's a it's a good cope um, <laughs> for me, anyways. Um, then it sort of makes sense um, because if you think about it this way in the UK, it's this cost is going to cost you maybe three or four takeaways that you're going to have for like two people, um, even even like pizza or something like that. So, and this brings you a lot more contentment, I want to say, um, than just bits of food. Um, and you can do this whenever as well. So that's another factor as well. So what we're going to have a look at now, we're going to have a look at these brushes so let me get some water explain how these work so you've got instead of having brushes like this where you put water on them you do it these are really amazing i had no idea they were like this so in terms of let me just go through the tips of them because there are three different tips so you've got a finer tip thicker one and you've got a fiber one which is much much harder with it so i'll go through one of them just as a 
explanation as an example. So they're all the same. You've got this push in the middle that you can press. Um, that When you push that, it actually drops water down onto the, uh, the fibre and that stays on the tip and then you've got water there. This section is a reservoir. So what you do is you unscrew the top like this. So you've got two separate bits. Do that one side. This is where you take in the water. So what you do is you put the end in and you lift this up like a syringe and the water goes in the barrel. So if I do this. So now you've got water in the barrel. Put this back on. Um, sometimes you may have to push down a little bit, just get a little bit of, you get a bit, get rid of a bit of the air. Because if there's air in it, when you press on this, it does become a bit finicky. Um, but you just push down a little bit so that water starts coming. As soon as you press these two sections here, you see now you've got water on the brush. Now you never have to really, I mean, this will last you a long time, just that tiny bit of water. Um, because what happens is when you use it at the start, you have a bit too much water. Just brush it off a little bit, and then now you've got the perfect amount. So now how does it look? So let's do it on the pencils first. This is on the pencils. It depends how much pressure and how much... Um, you've put down the pencil so you can see here I, I pressed a lot more here and I'm trying to get rid of it so it goes a little bit lighter there um you remember the blue so now the blue's mixing with the green as you can see a little bit because I've just done it on there but you can really see the um the effects you can do in terms of the um the gradient and the, the, the saturation of just moving it out Going from darker to lighter, you can you can just do amazing things with uh, with this. Let's do the purple. And that's what I mean about blending. So we just blend this purple into this blue. Blend it into this as well. Depending on your strokes and how you uh, move the um, move on the paper, obviously I'm going from very dark color into a lighter color, so it's going to overpower it a little bit. But the blending is is just amazing. And you can just see how easy you can just do things with. I mean, this is the thinnest one, so there's a lot more precision uh, to this. The black one is more for, I use it for big, big areas. Um, and the red one, fiber tipped, um, I rarely use, to be honest, because a lot of the things, art pieces that I do are generally either, uh, they're, they're quite fine and they're quite detailed. So I tend to not use it too much. Um, I did use it on, on a piece, I did a Venom and Carnage, which I will show. Um, but that was a little bit different in design. So you can see just with that, I've just blended all of them together. I mean, this looks, it just looks amazing what you can actually do. It looks a little bit like a, like a plant, an alien plant. <laughs> um, but this is just me messing about with water in the barrel on paper and just, and just blending these together. They're just next to each other. You can move them onto each other and blend them together. Obviously, color base and UV base you have to check because some will overpower some others, but you can see how it was on this one because we use the thing, it's not going to work as much. You can see it's starting to run off and bleed on the bits where I didn't use the pen so much. But you can see it's it's retained what we use with the um with the blender. See, it's not really moving there, but the outer bits are. But you see how well it's sort of a, look, you see it's sort of kind of like a, a reddy sort of blood kind of red blood cell colour moving on to like an orangey colour. With it. Same here as on the black because we did, we did it on the inside. 
you see it's not really affecting the texture but here it's not so let's do it with so these pens we did at the very start like what, 20 minutes ago so now what i do with it you can either just dip it in water or press the button let the water come down and that will clean the pen as well um sometimes i, use, I generally use the button press but i'm just showing that just it's quicker as we're on video so if you just press that the water drip through and this will clean up and now that's clean now you're back to neutral again after all of that so this is the pen these are the first ones we did um this is with the fabrano brush so So even after all that time of this being set on the page and not fresh, you can still see that you can still get amazing sort of transitions with how, how this looks on the paper. And even go, so I'm going from darker to lighter to lighter, and you can see that even, even when I switch, they're not really, um, they're not really um, combining together. Even though with mo most water brush, um, water brushes, if you switch from this color to this color, that that will still be on the brush and go there and overpower it. But with this, it's just, it's not the case because it's always. <laughs> A supply of water just dripping down i mean when you press it then obviously it's going to take over the whole entire end of the brush but you can see if you want to blend things and get a different texture it still comes out really really well so now the water is going a little bit down so i need to just Press the two buttons, get a bit more, squeeze them together, and now, now you can see now there's water on there. I would recommend that when you do this, do dab it on a bit of paper next to, because sometimes the excess water is a little bit too, you can see here that this is more water than the others, and now it's sort of overpowered it a little bit, which is what you don't want. So. Give it a few wipes. Now for, now we're gonna move on to the, these are the non-brush pens. Um, but I'll just show you the difference there. So these, these are the, that's the pencil. That's the sort of effect that you'll get. This is with the Fibrillo brush. It's the effect you'll get. Actually, let me do it on this line as well so you can see. So even with this, if you're trying to do something that's quite finite, but you want to have it give a little bit of an edge, someone like a shadow or or something like that, it can still be done. It just depends on the texture and how it is there. So now if we go to, these are the Fibrillo pens. You know, when you have this much water on the actual water brush itself, it's not too bad. But you can see I'm going from quite dark colours to uh, lighter colours, and they are. You can see there, look, you see they blend into each other. Because they're just getting overpowered by it. So if I go from this colour to the yellow, you can see that blended together with the olive colour. But this is what's going to happen when you use them. Um, but in terms of quality and color, they, they look amazing. So let me show you how they look with actual real life pieces that I've done. Um, just as a comparison, because I want to show you what not great looks like and what these look like um, compared to, let me just move these out the way. Okay, 
So that's what we've got there. Okay, so I want to show you what cheaper pens look like first because then we'll have a, a base for it. So these pens I bought when I was in Spain, it was just from a Chinese shop, um, made in China products. Um, and that's generally the, the quality of what you're going to get um, with it. So. Let's have, a, let's have a quick, I just want to show you the difference in, um, in colour and vibrancy. So these are with just normal pens that I bought. Um, you can see the colour on them. It still stands out, nothing special. The paper is just thin, normal sketch paper. But here's the, yeah, bit of bleed through on the back. This one, a lot of bleed through. But it's not so that, it's just the, um, if you look at the colours, it's, it's not, it's not the same. I mean, just because the piece looks nice, I can still look at this and say, you know what, though, these colours are not, they're not exactly how, how I want it to look, should I say? But the, but the end goal is right now. If I compare it to when I first used the pens, so this next one is on, this is on normal A3 paper, so lower GSM. Um, but if we look at the difference on colour, then, then you'll see the difference. So let me just take this out one second. Paper cut myself in the process, it's fine. <laughs> okay. So, this is on normal paper. The pens, because of the colour they give. can see the, the difference in colour. I mean, there's no, I'm not using any light or anything like that. So we just compare the blues here. It's quite a big difference. I mean, even if we compare the greens. Wait a second, let me see if I can just hold this correctly. There we go. You can see there's quite a bit of difference. So these are just the pens. There's no there's no water use on this. Um, this is just solely the the brush and the um, and the thirty pen set. That's all this is, and that's the sort of quality you're going to get. I, I did use um, uh, black pens as well, but um, we're not reviewing them today, so that's the quality that you'll get. So now, if we move on to something where I did start using the the brushes because that's what I got next. It out. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is the first piece that I did on. This is on the thicker paper. It's the same company that I told you before. The only difference is A3. Um, got 12 sheets of this. It doesn't run through, which is pretty obvious. It's 300 GSM. Um, but you can see from the color, it's completely different. You can see the blending on carnage here. So it's a bit more orangey here. And as I go more into the teeth, you see it goes a little bit more darker on the red. Um, even with the aspect like the moon. Can you see how much detail you can get and just blend it all really, really easily. 
So this is purely just with the the brush, the 15 brush set, the 30 pen set, and the the water brushes. That's the sort of result that you'll um that you'll see. I did use um uh, a black paint pen as well on some bits, but everything else you see, and a white paint pen on things like the stars. But you can see from the the bridge, the water. Uh, skyline area. This is all from the pens and the and the water, and that's the sort of result you get. So now, if we move on to This one is, this is not with the pencils. Um, this is still the brush, which is another example of of what, how vibrant this looks. Um, again, look, nothing. I used a lot more water on this one to blend and get the right, um, get the right colors you can see on um, Sigma's cape. Just wanted to blend in a little bit, the lighter purple, the darker purple as you go down. Um, even with his, um, uh, his shoulder mounts as well. You can see where it's dark. I tried to go a little bit into the lighter section um, with the um, the green flames as well. You can see how I've blended from lighter to a darker. And even even with this logo, just what you can do with the colors going from darker to a, a lighter. It's just, th this is the the quality that you can get from it. The only exception is the the white section. That the white sections are a paint pen, so you need to. That's not a factor here. So these white sections, that's a white paint pen. But everything else around it, um, the grey, the blue, that's all from the Fibrillo set. And that's what it looks like. So now let's go on to the last one, which is going to be. All of them. So this is a majority pencil. This is a majority pencil um, and using the 15 brush set and using the 30 pen set as well and with the water as well. So the difference I think is that the oh, the blending, the textures you can get are just, it, it's unreal. Even, well, I find it difficult doing body parts, but doing this with the pencils you can get all the definitions, you can get different muscle fibers. It's just, it's really incredible what you can do. And the bit I, I said at the very start of the video about effects. So if you look at this, so obviously this is all metal on crying wolf, but you see here where you've got um, the purple and the greens and these blues, like an oil effect on top of the metal. That's what you get there even here. Like it's an army camera, but you can see the purples. I put a little bit of blue in there, so you can't, it's hard to see, but you can see in person. Just to get that effect of like a shimmer. So even up here on this section here, it looks like there's oil or something on top of the metal, which is the whole point of it. But um, this was probably, I wanna say between 11 to 15% of the pens, the brush, and the normal pens, the 30 set, and the rest was the 80 set of the pencils um, with it. And that's it. Th these ones are, are, are black pens. These are not the Caran d'Ache set, so they're separate, but everything else um, is. These are the pens. Um, some sections I did put in the bit, so the, the brown here, I used more of the pens, where there was lights, um, like the red, on the um, the laser sights, I used them. Um, the pens, yellow, I used the pens, um, and that's the sort of quality you're going to achieve with zero runoff if you're using the right paper. But if you buy paper like this, and it's probably the best way because then you're not limited by anything you can do on it. So, yeah. That's my take. Um, 
on it, but um, who who are these for? These are for people who, in my personal experience, these are for people who either use art as an escape or like a coping mechanism um, for things like depression. <laughs> that would be that would be my take on it. And for other people, I think these are for anyone who likes to draw and enjoys it and is quite content with it and they don't mind spending a bit of money to have good quality um, rather than absolute garbage that you see most of the time in um, most shops. A lot of these pens that you get in pencils are usually made in China. Um, you don't know what's in them, um, whether there's like, animal products in them and things like that. Um, and it's very sneaky and a bit devious. So I wouldn't touch anything like that with um, with a barge pole. But um, yeah, in terms of how they're kept, what you get with them, you just, you, you can't beat them. And these will last you, these will last you years. Um, I have no doubt in my mind that um, these will last long. I mean, I used it all on that one piece and nothing's happened to the actual length of the pencils. Pretty much nothing. They've gone down maybe one to three mil, I would say. It, on ones I used, so, so this colour, I used a lot. The green colour, because there's a lot of army-based stuff within that Metal Gear Solid picture. And that's how much it's gone down. Compared to the others, it's... Yeah, it's about two to three mil. And that's it. So, these will last you a long time. They do the job, and they're just excellent in terms of quality. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to put it in the comments. And, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed.